it's a long time. Awesome. So first we are gonna grab the foam roller and we are going to um, foam roller IP band. So lie on one side and kind of go from your knee towards your hip to one side to another. If it's too painful, you can use the arms of the back leg to take somebody way off, depending on how tight your IT band is. And you can go on your quads. Let's loosen up or connect tissue before we start with the stretch. We are gonna be working a lot of that hip mobility to help our back to loosen up and to keep our hip to feeling good. So go to the other side, same thing. From the knee to your hip. And go back on your quad. And go back to one side again. This time, think about from the middle to the leg to your glutes. So a little higher. To the middle of your quad. More the upper part of your IT band. And I kind of just focus on the glutes. So kind of lay on that foam roller on that side and roll it. Woohoo! That's sore. All our glutes are stuck together. They join together with this, the connect tissue, which is our IT band. So it starts right on your glutes and right on the side of your hip. Okay, nice. So let's do the same thing on the other side. Half of your quad, glutes. So a lot of back pain, a lot of hip pain, a lot of knee pain, it's all related with the IT band because it runs from the top of your glutes to the bottom of your knee. Kind of roll in it. Focus on the glutes now. Nice. Okay, awesome. Now, we are gonna sit on top of the foam roller. You're gonna keep your right leg down on the floor and you're gonna cross your left one on top. You're gonna lean slightly on the outside of your left booty, hip, and roll it while your leg is closing, is crossing. And you can put less body weight or more body weight depending on how sore that is. And now from there, sit on top of that foam roller, bring soft of the foot together, open your knees apart. So externally rotating the, the, the legs, the femur, and bend forward. Oh, that feels good. Really trying to bring your chest towards your feet. Feeling the stretch from the top of your glutes. Nice. Now we are going to go back to the center. Now you're going to cross your right one on top of your left one. Bring your hands back. Lean on the outside of the right glutes and hip. Foam roller right in there. Nice. Sit on top again. Extend your legs and bend forward. If you can reach your toes straight, if you know, just reach as far as you can. And come up and roll your hamstrings now. So right there in the middle of your back of your leg, from your glute towards your knees. It's a great way to warm it up and missing up all that connect tissue to allow us to stretch better. Okay, and sit again on top of the foam roller. Extend your legs and reach your toes again. Hopefully by now it's a little bit easier. 
Breathe, relax your shoulders, nothing too hard, it's just part of our warm up. Nice, okay. So now we are gonna do our last one. Valer, you don't do this one on the foam roller. You just lay on your back. For the rest of us, place that foam roller right there on your sacrum area. So it's not on your lower back, it's right on the top of your glutes, right where your sacrum is, where your lower back ends, connects with your glutes. You do this one on the floor, Valerie, and you ride your right knee up and drive the knee towards your chest, allowing this bottom leg to length, keeping your left heel on the floor. Inhale, exhale, bring that one back. Open up your hip, engage your glutes, and bring your left one. Same thing. Oh. Bring it down. Open up your hip. Try to bring your belly button up to the ceiling. Bring your right one. Grab it. And this time, bring your right knee to the side, to the outside, and bring it towards the floor. Feel a nice stretch on your left one is on the floor as well. Bring on this one down. Open up your hip. Bring your belly button up to the ceiling. And switch. Bring your left one. Bring it towards your chest and slightly bring it to the side. Your right leg stays pressing against the floor. Your right heel stays on the floor. Feel a nice stretch all over your left side and the floor on your right. Bring it down. Last one, bring your right up. This time you're gonna cross it. So you're gonna grab your heel, your right heel, your right knee, and you're gonna press it towards the floor, towards your chest while the bottom leg stays pressing on the floor. Make sure you're not twisting your knee, make sure you're pressing equally from your heel and your knee. You feel it on the outside of your glutes. Bring this one down, draw your hip forward, belly button goes up. And now you do the other side, your left one. Got the outside of your left ankle, Oh, this is tight. Again, make sure you're not twisting your knee. Place your hand on that side of your knee and press from your right hand from your ankle and your left hand from your knee equally. And release it. Slowly come off the, off the foam roller. Okay, so now we are going to sit on the floor with our back on the wall. Okay, so we are gonna sit in right here. So you're slightly resting, your chest is tall and long. And you're gonna bring both legs on your heels sitting tall. And now you're gonna drive your right knee to the side and bring it to the front and your left knee to the side. And press, engage your glutes and press the knee towards the floor. The right one. Press your left one. I want you to really think about using the glutes to press the leg on the floor. So we are in mobility. We are lengthening the inside, engaging the outside. One more time. Nice. Okay, so now, you're gonna cross, so bring your knee, right knee slightly forward, if you need to, I need to. And you're gonna cross your left one on top of your right one. And now what you're gonna do is you're gonna bring your right knee towards the floor. So you are stretching the inside of the right hip. Gently try to bring it all the way down. Inhale, exhale, gently bring it back up and bring it to the other side. Keep the sitting bones on the floor. So you go only as far as you can go with the sitting bone and roll it to the left side. You should feel it right here. 
Inhale. Exhale to the left, to the right side. One more time. Because Fali got easier. You see, can I, got, I can go a little higher now as my hip got more flexible. Open up the internal rotation, which is hard to do. It's a hard movement to create. That side, external, is way easier. And now you're just going to cross it like we always do. And you're going to right arm is going to grab the left knee. And you're going to bring the left knee towards your chest. You're going to bring your hand right behind. You're going to rotate towards the wall. Just feeling the stretch on your left hip. Nice. Bring it to the front. Bring soft of the foot together. Keep your sitting bone stones along. Try to drive your knees as far back as you can. Stay right there tall. Inhale. Exhale. Grab those toes and bend forward. Keeping those knees down. Because probably by now feels a little easier than it felt the first time we did it. Oh, nice. Okay, so now we are going to go back on sitting. Bend the knees, put the weights on your heels. And again, you're going to bring your right leg out, trying to press against the floor as hard as you can. And bring your back and switch to your left. Can you tell a little more mobility than the first time we did it? Inhale. Exhale. Switch to the other side. Chest tall. Okay, one more time. To your right. Engage the outside. Engage your glutes to your left. Nice. Now you're going to go ahead and cross your right one on top of your left one. Bring your left one as far forward as you need to to stay tall along on the wall. Your sitting bones are on the floor. I'm very gentle. Drive the right knee towards the floor. Woohoo. Ow. I feel it on this side. So you see what I did was too much. So I walk my foot further forward, my left one. It's feeling it on my knee, but this is because all in here is really tight. Very gentle. Drive your left knee towards the floor. Inhale. Exhale, drive your left knee towards the outside this time. Inhale, exhale, go back to bring your knee towards the right side. Hopefully now it feels a little better. Stay tall and long. This is great to the other side. Chest all along. So you see your shoulders stay squared on the wall. One more time. Inhale. Very gentle. Very gentle. Try the left knee towards the floor. Keep the left shoulder flat on the wall. It's a good one for the internal rotation. Bring it back and now bring it all the way towards the floor. Cross the bottom leg. Sitting bones are on the floor. Your chest stall. Your left hand arm grabs your right knee and you rotate to the side. Fill it right on your right glutes. Back to the front, tall along, drive those knees together again. I want you to think about long against the wall. First, press your knees against with your hands towards the floor. Breathe. And from there, you're going to grab your toes, bend your elbows, and bring your chest while you try to keep those knees back down.
Wow, that's amazing. Is it on our head? Nice. Okay. So now we are going to come up here and work a little bit on our track mobility, which also help our hip and your lower back to feel a little looser. So make sure you have plenty of pad on your knee that's on the floor. This pad is terrible, so I'm going to put down it up. So you're going to have your left leg forward, your right, sorry, right knee forward, left knee is on the floor. Okay. So um, my right shoulder is against the wall. So we are on our right side. So you should, your wall should be on your right side, right shoulder, right leg in front, left one is on the floor. Now, you're gonna tuck your pelvic in and drive that hip a little further forward. From here, you're gonna turn your shoulders, open up your arms, use this right arm to help you to press your shoulder back on the wall. So what we want to is your right knee, hip, everything against the wall, both shoulders against the wall, if you can. From here, bring your hands on, the, on your shoulder, back, on your neck, if you can, if you know, hold it right here. And from here, you're gonna rotate and bring your left shoulder towards your foot and bring it back to the front and now bring it to the front knee. Try to keep it flat, bring it back to the front and relax it. But again, inhale, open your arms, shoulder level, chest tall. You can stay right there or you can try to bring your hands behind your head, your shoulders and your elbows are on the wall. Inhale, reach with your left elbow towards your left foot. And back to the center. And now bring your right elbow to your right knee while your left shoulder is flat on the floor, on the wall. Oh, and bring it back. Ooh, that's amazing, isn't it? One more time. Against the wall, inhale. Open your arms, shoulders flat on the wall. Right knee and hip is on the wall. If you can, bring your hands behind your head. Your elbows are reaching on the wall. Inhale, lean backwards. Your left elbow goes to your left foot. Your right, your left hip goes forward. And bring it to the front, gently. That is so bad. Gently, bring it to the front knee. Keep that shoulder flat. So wrist here, we want to work on keep the left shoulder flat. Bring it back to the center and release it. Nice. One more in this position. One more exercise. We are going to do it three times. Open your arms. Now we are going to just work on that track mobility. Keep your legs exactly where they are. Nothing you move in your legs. Your left hand goes towards the right one. And your left hand presses back, turns it towards the wall and presses. Inhale. Drive the head forward. Reach forward, exhale, bring it back. One more time, inhale, bring it forward, your hip reaches forward. So you should feel a nice stretch right in here. Inhale, exhale, bring it back. Turn your palms towards the wall, your left palms places. One more time, inhale. Press, 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 press. Exhale. And rest. Come up here, sitting tall and long on the wall. Woo. Give your knees a little break. Shake your knees, right and left. While you're tall and long. If you struggle to stay sitting tall against the wall because your hamstrings are too tight, place a pillow or a yoga block against, so up here to elevate you and make it a little easier, okay? Toes are gonna go up to the ceiling, inhale. Exhale, bend forward. Breathe. You can also use a belt. You can use both even, the yoga block and the belt to help you. Depending on how tight your hamstrings are. Tall back. Now, stay tall and long. Cross your right leg 
above or below your knee, not on your knee, okay? So find the spot that feels comfortable, but make sure you don't put your foot right on top of your kneecap. Flex the left toe up to the ceiling, using a belt or not, inhale, exhale, bend forward, reach the toe. Woohoo. Just a three deep breath. Relax your shoulders, relax your upper body, relax your hamstrings. One more time. Come up and slow. Bring it forward, shake your legs, bring your knees, shake it, shake it, shake it. Nice. Now flex your right toe. Bring your left leg on top of your foot, on top of your leg, above or below your knee, no on top of your knee. Keeping that right toe pointed up to the ceiling. Inhale. Exhale, reach the toe. Once you are reaching, whatever you can reach, or using the belt, we're going to focus on keep your upper body relaxed, your shoulders are relaxed, no fighting it. One more time. And come back. Oh, nice. Okay, we're going on the other side. I want to do two more after this, so let's try to get in. Okay, so now you're gonna be, your left shoulder is gonna be against the wall. So you're gonna be on, the wall is gonna be on your left side. You're gonna bring your left leg forward, your right knee's on the floor. You're gonna turn your chest towards the wall. So you're gonna to try to keep the right shoulder flat on the floor. Drive your hip forward, a nice stretch in here. Left knee is pointing forward against the wall. Inhale, open your arms. <sighs> Press your shoulders back. If you can, bring your hands towards your, towards your neck. Keeping your hip in there, reach forward and your right elbow goes to your right foot. Engage the right glute. Slowly inhale. Exhale, now bring it forward and lean against the right. Oh man, that feels amazing. Make sure this left, now it's gonna be your right one. Stays on the wall. So make sure you come up, you only go as low as you can stay with your shoulders on the wall. Back to the front and relax it. Again, inhale, arms open up, shoulders flat on the wall. If you can, bring your hands behind your head. Drive your hip forward and bring your right elbow to your right foot. Slowly back to the center. Drive your hip forward and bring your left, shoulder, left elbow to your left knee. Right shoulder stays flat on the wall. I'll bring it back to the center. One more time. Relax your hands. Inhale. Open up your arms. Chest, press the knee against the wall. Bring your hands behind your head if you can. Inhale. Lean backwards. Bring the shuntle to the front. Go forward with your head. Left shoulder goes to your knee, right shoulder stays flat on the floor. Back to the center and relax it. I hit this knee against the wall and it's so sensitive. Okay, last one. We are gonna open our arms. Keep the hip reaching forward. Palms turns backwards. So your palms are pressing against the wall. Inhale. Your right one comes towards your left. Your hip goes forward, reaching. Bring it back, press against the wall. Bring it forward, bring your hip forward. Inhale, exhale, go back. Press your right palm, presses against the floor, against the wall. Inhale, again. 
reach with the other hand, hip goes forward. Exhale, come up, press it against the wall. And relax it. Whew. Okay, guys, let's go quick. We fought. We ran out of time. We are gonna lay on your back with your legs on top of the wall. Our goal is try to keep our glutes or back or sitting bones as close as the wall as possible. But it all will depend on how flexible you are. So just go as close as you can, as close as your flexibility allows it. But again, our goal is to try to keep it all the way. So your sitting bones are on the wall. Open your arms, shoulder level. I will describe this in case you cannot see me. Keep your palms towards the floor. Your arms are extended, shoulder level. Inhale, drive your right leg extended out towards the floor. So open up, try to bring as flat as you can. While your left one stays up in there, your ankles are flexed. Inhale. Exhale, drive your right leg back up where it was. And now inhale, exhale, bring your left one towards the floor. Your right one, it stays right in there. Stretch it. Keep your sitting bones on the wall. Bring your back to the center. And now we are going to bring both at the center. Open your legs. Keep your sitting bones on the wall and open your legs as far as you can. Keep your ankles flexed and breathe. Try to turn your toes towards the floor. So you feel the inside of your legs. You should feel a big, strong stretch. Walk it back to the center, legs extended. And now you're gonna cross your right one on top of your left one and Bend it. Trying to bring your goal now is try to bring your butt flat on the floor while the right leg is stretching. Bring it up. Extend your right. Bend your left one on top of your right one. And bend your right leg only as far as you can stay with the butt on the floor. Breathe. Just one more, guys. Bring it up. Switch. Place the right one on top of your left one. Bend your left knee. Trying to keep your butt flat on the floor. And from there, you're going to rock your legs so to one side. And to the other side, kind of what we did before, but in this position. Try it to one side and to the other side. Inhale, exhale. One more time, hold it in the middle. Try to press your butt against the floor and relax it. Last one. Left one on top of your right one. Bend your left foot. And rock it to one side. And rock it to the other side. Inhale. Exhale. Last one, hold it in the middle. Place your butt hard against the floor. Extend your legs. Open up your legs as wide as you can. Last time, turn your toes out towards the floor. And breathe, allowing the inside of your legs to stretch. Bring it back to the center, bend your knees, roll to the side. Very gentle, get on your knees. Turn your toes under. Push your heels down, walk towards your toes. Tuck your pelvic in, belly button in. 
rows slow one vertebra at a time. Last standing, we are gonna do our last deep breath, inhale. And exhale. Whew, that was amazing. <laughs>